Welcome everyone to our event for this afternoon. May I call our AUEP President, Dr. Peter P. Laurel. Sir Peter. Hello everyone. Uh, greetings uh, likewise from the Philippines. Uh, uh, we are very happy that uh, the first speaker who will be properly introduced is our incoming president of AUAP, no? Dr. Chairman Sabur Khan. And I'm sure later on he will be inviting us to come to our annual conference in Dhaka. And I think this is something that uh, DIU is uh, preparing for and all of us in AUAP are very much behind and will be a great time to come together because we haven't seen each other for two, three odd years. So I think uh, it's very important that wherever we are, we try to actually make that annual conference. Uh, there have been many things happening with AUAP. Uh, just like to tell you very briefly that we have several committees that have standing committees that have been very active and many of the reports they will be giving will be done in the annual conference. Uh, we're privileged to have Sabur Khan who chairs uh, our committees on uh, research. Uh, many of these committees will be, are doing a lot of work and uh, as we prepare for his presidency starting January, 2023, we look forward towards continuity of many of these projects and this, hopefully that this forum and things like this forum will continue in the two years ahead of us as we deepen ties with one another. So on that note of uh, appreciation and thanks, I warmly welcome all of you and we look forward to a very productive uh, session today. Thank you very much, Joseph, and hello, everyone. Our first speaker successfully completed his higher education um, and aimed to position his footsteps to the business world from day one of his career. Since the beginning in 1990, Mr. Khan focused on extending his business in diversified areas as much as he can. He is determined to continue his knowledge, experience, and strength in IT and education area. During his 30 year of glorified career, Mr. Khan has established different wings one by one under the large shade of Daffodil. He has paid continuous social contribution through Daffodil Foundation and in the field of computer education, human resource management, and development towards the nation through his other organizations. Ladies and gentlemen, the founder and chairman of Daffodil University in Bangladesh, our first speaker, Mr. M.D. Sabur Khan. Uh, thank you. Uh, so first of all, thank you, Peter Lored, and thank you, Joseph. Both of you, uh, just uh, Joseph's is long introduction. So I'm sure that uh, Due to this pandemic, uh, it is true that still pandemic is not going from us uh, as we believe it that maybe long term we have to nurture it and we have to uh, cope up with the COVID because the way the, uh, still the COVID is moving. I think we don't know that how long we'll be uh, fighting for this COVID-19 safety and security and other precautions. But this is true that due to cause of this COVID-19, we already learned a lot of things. And I'm sure that I'll just try to uh, go through some of the practices. And you know, there's a whole worldwide, the business and other area is almost uh, seriously affected. And almost it's uh, considered that 50% uh, falling down. And But at the same time, you know, that a lot of the companies also, their sales and their revenue is increasing. So what is the scenario? Why the sum of the company that the global pandemic, the disruptive effects is effective in our normal life. But this is true that COVID-19 has made us rethink about sustainability because a lot of cases we are not taking a lot of precautions. Like you see, the whenever we'll go to the outside of the office, we must have to wear the mask and we have to take the precaution. Whenever we handshake or touch with some area, we need to just utilize the hand sanitization. So these sorts of lot of precaution, I think these nowadays, and you see, lot of cases we have to carry in our pocket this, uh, you know, this, uh, uh, what's called this uh, handy sanitization and lot of this, lot of these components we are now bound to carry due to cause of our safety security. And at the same time, in educational sector, I'm sure that a lot of you are aware that we are taking the 
temperature measurement and a lot of this even our university will be happy to know just we have the one medical center but just seven days back we set up the full medical set up in our university is a huge doctor you know diagnostic center and bed everything we set up because we understood that we have to cope up with this system there is no way so in sustainability respect it is the time to realize that what world economy is going on in the top 100 trillion for the first time in 2020 because due to cause of this covid 19 you know that few 50 percent company affected but few company is doing unbelievable business because they already develop their ecosystem and considering the all of the effect they develop them in such a way and also try to find out the right way you know the challenge whenever there is a challenge of course we understood there is a opportunities also so this is the time for the higher education leader to find out which way we should move. Should you unlearn first? Because we need to unlearn first. If you not unlearn first, then we cannot relearn. So that is why I should, the way we should also need to select the to move forward. And of course, the human resource leaders believe their professional has transformed after years of pressure of digitize their roles and moves employees into self-serve. Because, you know, the solution based on the technology, it is necessary now. Because if we think that, okay, earlier, a lot of cases we are emotional, a lot of cases we one-to-one, -one, we are keeping the tracking, we are trying to utilize our strength to find out the right people and to evaluate them, their work procedure and other things. And in respect of the academician, student, everything, I think, no, we cannot sustain. So that is why we should develop, we should transform based on the solution that what God is already giving us the beautiful IT solution. And of course, as I already mentioned, with the automation, there is no other way to depend on the automation and artificial intelligence. We leap to the productivity. You know that millions of people worldwide now may need to switch occupation or upgrade the skill. So at the same time, our education system, where we created the future product, we must need to think that how we should develop them. We need to change the course curriculum. We need to adopt more technological development, technological outcome-based education related factors in our course curriculum. And at the same time, you know, the earlier we are used to physical education, but now I think there is no way that with the physical education, that is physical, physical and digital. So which is also we consider as a hybrid education. And as much as you can develop in these two platforms, I'm sure that you can reach to the right target and you can also develop and upgrade our student. So we must change, we must chance. We, we should have the chance to change. So definitely if we chance to change, as I already mentioned that we need to unlearn first, we need to relearn, rethink, reboot we need to reboot our mindset also because if you think that oh two years it's okay we can we can wait it's already passed so we can change our mind and we can go, go follow the earlier stage that means you're getting the chance but you don't change yourself or you are not changing your institution and of course uh, you uh, everyone you are already agree with me and you also uh, you are you are well known about this work home you know the lot of solution a lot of software, a lot of these technologies developed for now, considering the work for home. So most organizations do not yet have detailed vision in place for hybrid work or home work. But again, few of the organization, and I'm happy to share with you our organization, we are emphasize our, our staff, that please do the home office. So make yourself accountable, prove yourself the whatever contribution and value addition and timing you are contributing to the organization that can be assessed through the system if you can prove it we will allow you to do the home office so that's why we already also develop a lot of policy in our in our all all our all of our company our education sector also so again i should say that you already aware about it so i don't like to go to the details business insider you know there's a facebook forbes and google bbc and twitter and everything or every company is now they are deciding that some of the company they decide like this way they every 2.6 employee one employee should work to the home office i think few of few company is already decided no 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 50 percent few company decided 80 percent it depends on the work procedure because of course every company's work procedure is not the same but again the common job which we call usually the clerical job or this uh, deep thinking job or research-based job where is uh, what called this documentation and other studies material, not, not this uh, what called this lab facility or other thing. 
that can be easily, we can allow to do the home office. So companies need to set new standards and up and old paradigms will be long-term strategic advantage. And as you already heard that uh, in technological case, transportation case, everywhere, and I'm very uh, happy to share with you one of the uh, information that our country's budget, just a few days back, our budget is already declared. And I'm very happy to see that our finance minister already declared that they already reduced the tax of the helicopter. So you see, they reduce the huge tax of the helicopter. That means they realize that in the long run, the people will move to the in the air, air they may avoid the transportation or the traffic jam. So I'm sure that, uh, you know, Dubai is also introduced, uh, you know, Uber, you know, this, uh, uh, what was the drone based Uber. So Dubai is already, uh, they are very going to be the popular of the drone based Uber. So these sorts of technology, we must have to think. So that is why uh, this, uh, this is the great leaders are great decision maker. Now it is your time. You should think that which door you will follow. Do you follow the traditional system? Do you follow the mixing system? Do you follow the right technology? Or still you will be in the red marking that always there will be risky. So I hope that uh, the, this is the time for find out the right leader and right decision. So today, again, we need the leaders who create leaders. Because earlier you see what happened? that people easily can come to the office and they can look after about this thing and you will be surprised to know about one of my experience, two, point, two and a half years, still I'm not moving to my office because I'm doing all of my office through the technology. And I'm very happy because I saw that the, my performance is almost, I should say, the more than five times better to move to the physically to my office because everything I can create to the, through the system. And between this time, I have 54 concerns. So all of the 54 concerns, I developed the few hundred leaders. So it is the time also to need leaders, create leaders, delegate our technology, delegate our, uh, what calls this, what we create the model. I think this model we should need to delegate. And of course, delegate sustainability to de decide the right door. We need the data, we need the analysis, we need the internet of things and artificial intelligence for better manage our operation. Because you see, how, why I'm not able to go to the office? Because one of the reasons, you know, I need to go to the office for the check signing and some approval and some decision. So now everything comes to the in automatic. I don't need to go to the office because I don't need to check signing. I give it to the check signing to my people. So they need the approval through the system. So once I approve the check who is receiving or maintaining the check, I think after seeing the approval, he disbursed the check to the right people. So I don't, I don't need to sign anything now. So that is why I should say the properly technology we need to develop. And as I already mentioned, we need to keep proper tracking because follow up to know the work progress. Whenever I'm seeing just before entering to the meeting, I'm seeing the one approval is pending. So there is a seven tire approval because it's a huge budget. So I saw the six people is already approved, but one people is not approved. So I cannot, I cannot approve because the, all of the seven people need to appro approve. So I found that one of the people, I think he's not approved and there are check and he's now in abroad, he's in the Europe. He's visiting in one uh, uh, company. So that is why I think maybe he's due to cause of traveling. He cannot enter to the system. Maybe next few few hours he can enter to the system and he will get the approval. So these sorts of proper tracking and follow up, we need to progress every time. And again, the time. I'm sure that everyone will agree with us. God is always tell us because God is always tell us that, look, we're giving you day and night. We'll give you the sun. We'll give you the moon. So everything is giving you the time so how can you effectively utilize the time? So that is the perfect leadership and perfect workplace leader. How you properly utilize, because everyone has 24 hours. All millionaire, billionaire, all successful people, all, you know, that the people and those who are jobless, they also have the same 24 hours. So it is the time who can use time effectively and efficiently. And again, the leader main target is to recover the revenue. Everything is fine. The leader is good, but leader is not able to give the salary or good salary or good facility to the to their team member. I think then leader will not be considered as the right leader. So that is why it is also important all of the ME, all of the element and the remaining as the return of investment or as the revenue. So what again you will need or we will need to rethink our operating module based on how our people work best because. 
this pandemic, I'm happy to share with all of you, due to cause of the technology, every month we are finding the best practices, best employee, because and young people is every month we are seeing the young people is come forward. So our organization is every month we are finding that three to four people is coming from the various concern. They have the technological creativity, innovation, which we can find out, can track and assess through the technology. So that is why I should say that the, the operating model, model need to be set properly to find out the best people. Again, of course, as a long term, everyone, you know it, competitive advantage, we need to have to the focus, clear focus, and again, the team. As in our organization, honestly speaking, we are giving the more emphasis on the team. We give them a the lot of the training. We have helped them try to find out their problem and giving the rapid decision so that they don't waste their time and motivated themselves to move forward. And I already mentioned they need to change the traditional classroom. I think maybe uh, already we changed the classroom structure also. Today I'm not bringing here. But uh, we already changed the classroom structures, like as meeting room. Sometimes in the work, work uh, that is a work group, it's, they will they will just six to seven people will sitting. So these sorts of these sorts of matter we already uh, changing slowly, slowly. And even that all maximum classroom we also set up the all in one. You know, there's a digital digital uh, uh, screen that which we call the all in one. Also we set it because some cases the student may not come to the class. So through the online through the blending learning platform, easily student can enjoy the class through online or from the recorded version. Again, as I already mentioned in the first creating digitally enable ecosystem within our organization. I think as much as we can enable the digital enabling system, we can develop more. So uh, we have besides our university, we have also more than 27 educational concepts. We have school, we have college, we have vocational training institute, we have professional initiative, we have nursing college, we have the medical uh, health related initiative. We have plenty of setup education, even we have the countrywide some, some education setup. So all of the setups, we are developing one smart edu system, which we call the virtual education environment. And we bringing the lot of the collaboration. We have almost developed 50 plus module. As all of the module, I think this is everything. I think, Whatever, whatever is coming, I think yesterday before yesterday in one presentation, we find out that one of the problem is coming. I think we developed the system, you know, la, uh, the last year, say this con convocation, we developed the convocation module also. So these module student can track, they can, if they are not joining with their parents, they can enjoy the live telecast, everything. So these sorts of module and model, every time we are continuously, we are developing. So that's why what happened, you see, in the uh, pandemic time, I hope that everyone will agree with me. One of the major uh, concern was that to bring the dropout, you know, because a lot of cases, because, you know, the Bangladesh is really the lot of the people, st students, those who are coming from the remote area. I think the financially, their family is facing the problem. So we are keeping the serious tracking and drop out. That's why the red marking is the reduce the students drop out. So all of the dropout system we can track from the system. We talk with them and we also develop one mentoring monitoring system. We make the mandatory to all of our faculty. Everyone must have to mentoring at least 30 to 20 to 40 students. They can mentoring, they can talk, they can liaise with their parents and find to find out the one he, has, he or she has any financial problem or not. So considering all of the problem, I think more than 50% already tuition free, or you already reduce them. Someone will give the 100%, someone give the 10%, someone give the 20%, because we are trying to find out and assess what is the financial capability is dropping down or not. So through the system, we everything we are trying to tracking and we are trying to manage this uh, all the thing. Even that, you know, the student, they are not moving to the outside. So we analyze their skill also. We develop a lot of the skill testing, analyze their skill, and we develop the lot of these uh, online courses for soft skill and hard skill and various, various, various factors. And we are bringing almost more than more, more than uh, two, uh, 500 courses. We develop it so that the, in the off time or pleasure time, they should not move with only the social networking, rather they can learn some of these soft skills from the system. And we also developed this, uh, one of our company is called the Spiral World. Uh, this company is also developed the virtual gig. Virtual educate, you know, that uh, whenever students, uh, they like to uh, counseling or talk with the teacher or, or like to take the admission, everything, every information they can talk, they can enter to the right people. 
they can download the information and everything they can and they can and you can even which uh, they maybe sometimes when they enter they do not know where is the library they do not know which department which are, so there is also mapping also they can find out uh, where is a food code or which suggestion they need it they can order to the food to the through the online so everything we are bringing through the online and one of the surprising development we also developed which i, I did not mention we developed a one digital auto payment system we call the one card so student they everyone their own id card we are bringing them is their own uh, like as a debit card or credit card whatever so this is the payment gateway we already established so student uh, from any places they can uh, pay to the any any fee it's not it is the food it's in the library it is the tuition fee everything they can do it and even they transfer the money also from their own card to the bank also so anyway so i think this application admission almost 100% we we, we just developed to the through the system and um, as uh, also I, I hope that you know that they can chat with the right people right teacher anytime they can video talk uh, they can uh, whatever group discussion even the group discussion also they can conduct as i told that uh, the foreign student instantly i think in the in the 2000 uh, this one we organized in 2021 in november when a lot of our foreign students they need to go back to their home so we just uh, uh, just uh, you see they are not in our country we, we leave them okay you can go so but we organize this uh, virtual uh, convocation and farewell ceremony so as i already mentioned that we develop some uh, smart edu system we develop go edu short courses which i mentioned we develop the blending learning center where is almost 12000 courses already in blending learning center because it is, we did the mandatory to all our teacher the whatever course you already conducted to the class you must need to the uploaded in the blending learning center so thank you very much and thank you to all of the distinguished audience and uh, uh, it is my pleasure to invite all of you in the next November, uh, then to 14 to 15, uh, to come to Dhaka. And please uh, come to the Dhaka, and because we are going to organize uh, uh, AUAP Annual General Conference. I hope that uh, all of the guests and uh, your friend and your networking partner, please come to Dhaka. We'll, we'll, we are waiting to receive you, and we'll try our best to. Uh, just organize the event as much as possible because last two years, as our president Peter Lauret has already mentioned, due to cause of the pandemic, we cannot meet each other physically. So we are hopeful that God will allow us to meet again physically, inshallah. So we shall all of you good luck and thank you, Peter, for your continuous support. We shall good luck too. Thank you very much, Mr. Shabur Khan. Uh, and we really look forward to the AUAP conference to be held in Dhaka this November. Um, I think everybody's excited already to have a face-to-face -face conference. Uh, I know that we are trying to build a stronger network um, of higher education institutions, even um, on a virtual platform. But I think um, we can do much more if we would be given really the opportunity to meet face-to-face -face and build better relationships and tie-ups with each other. But um, before we uh, go on to the details of our conference, I would just like to um, present the certificate of appreciation. Another so technological, first... another technological development. <laughs> I would like to present our certificate of appreciation to Mr. M. D. Sabur Khan for imparting his knowledge and expertise as one of our resource speakers during the sixth AUAE Zoom forum, given this twenty fourth day of June two thousand twenty two at Lyceum of the Philippines University Batangas, signed. Dr. Ricardo Pama, Secretary General of the AUAP, and Dr. Peter Pilarel, AUAP President. Thank you very much, Thank Mr. Sabor Khan. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Khan, uh, on behalf of AUAP, uh, I'd just like to tell you how I enjoyed your presentation. These are yes. some of the valuable presentations uh, coming from a founder of an institution and uh, not just the head of the founder and how he sees the present and the future. I think uh, one of the my key takeaway there among others would be many uh, companies have been lost along the way, but many have also uh, prospered and flourished. No? And how they actually flourish and prosper is uh, maybe a key takeaway and some of the innovations that we should be doing in our schools. So I like you, the things and that also, you also, Peter, for, through you, I offered to the all, all people that what model we already developed, I, we will love to share with all of you. If you like to 
see our our solution of course maybe your solution better maybe better than us but if you think that our solution is better than you please we are ready to help you thank you i think that's an opportunity for all auap members to mm -hmm. look at each other and i think in the case of daffodil diu there are many big innovations and uh, especially in the technological front during this uh, and looking at a hybrid uh, working environment in the future no and the fact that he also mentioned very interesting is uh, that you can work from home and be as effective or even more so in fact five times more effective five and, times. So they, and and, and uh, how you can develop a lot of new platforms that will use technology and make it easier for people to come to work uh, or actually be productive and mm -hmm. i think that uh, the grab uh, drone uh, example these are some of the things that are coming our way and and it's really good for the education sector to be completely aware of these massive changes and really big opportunities so mm -hmm. i i thank uh, chairman khan for sharing those valuable uh, uh, okay. input and i think it's good for all the leaders in auap to look at their organization with that kind of lens no mm -hmm. the innovation lens is to see how we can better things so thank you very much uh, chairman khan thank you president